today, you're going to see how these glasses went from looking like this to looking like this. These glasses have a transition lens, which goes from a clear lens to a dark lens with the exposure of UV rays, which come from the sun. Now for the first step, the glasses go into the tracer. And what this does is it actually traces out the lens shape from the frame. So whenever the lenses are going to be cut, they'll fit perfectly into the frame. The tracer goes on the left lens, traces that lens fully, and then spins around to the right side, and then traces that side fully as well. and then the frames come out. And the next step is gonna be putting in the patient's PD and segment height. As you can see, it's 29 and 17.5 for both the right side and the left side. This patient also has an axis and for the right side, it's gonna be 105 and for the left side, it's gonna be 80. Then the right lens is going to be selected again because the right lens is going to be the one that goes in first. The scanner clamps the lens down. And then the machine takes the blocker and it places it right on top of the lens. And this is going to happen one more time on the left lens. Well, because glasses, I mean, they need two lenses. Okay, so now this patient's file is going to be transferred from that machine onto this cutting machine. As you can see, because the frame was traced out on the other machine, all the measurements of the frame are now onto the cutting machine. And then everything gets checked to make sure that it all looks good. And then the lens gets placed into the cutting machine. Now, you're going to see something really cool. I've seen this hundreds of times, but every single time I see it, it's mesmerizing. Look at that. So the lens gets clamped and these two tracers, they come together and they're actually tracing out the exact same lens shape that was traced on the other machine from the frame now onto this lens. You can actually see it going around in the exact same lens shape of the frame, which is just crazy how well technology actually works. Now, it may be a little bit hard to see because there is water on the protective screen, but luckily these are polycarbonate lenses, so the water isn't actually being splashed onto the screen. The water is actually going onto the cutting wheel, which keeps the cutting wheel cool while cutting. And this only happens whenever it's a polycarbonate lens. Okay, so what's happening right now is the lens is actually being cut into the shape of the frame. As you can see, the lens is getting smaller and smaller, and it's starting to look more like that actual lens shape. As you can see, the lens actually shifted into the middle part of the wheel. This actually creates a little indent in the middle of the lens so that it'll fit perfectly and that it'll actually stay there. You can actually see it if you look real close. You can see that little line in between. That's what it's actually doing right now. When it comes to cutting these lenses, there's actually going to be four steps. And now when the water starts splashing onto the screen, this step is actually called being polished. Which basically makes the entire lens clearer to actually see through it.
Okay, now it's on to the fourth and final step. And this is actually the safety bevel. Now, what the safety bevel is, we'll actually get closer to it so you guys can see clearly. This makes all the edges of the lens smooth. So that whenever you're wearing these glasses, the edge of the lens won't scrape you or anything. And this is fully for safety purposes, which is why it's called the safety bezel. Okay, and now they come out and all the extra material that's on the machine is just the extra residue that came off from when cutting the lens. Okay, so now the machine gets opened up and look at that, lens comes out nice and clean. Now the exact same thing would also happen to the other lens and when they both come out, all the water residue on the lens is cleaned off and then they get fitted into the frames. You can actually see the indent in the middle of the lens which makes it so much easier to get in and stay into the frame. These are also metal frames, so they had to get screwed in so the lens will get tighter so that the lenses won't just fall out. Now take a look at that. Now obviously both the blockers come off because these aren't in style yet. And take a look at that. You can also see here how they are clear lenses. We'll actually put the glasses into this transition machine which shows you how it works. What this machine does is it practically projects off UV rays which is the rays that you get from looking at the sun and it'll project it onto the lenses and you can actually see how the lenses go from clear to tinted and this is the exact same thing that would happen if you're wearing these inside and then you go outside you also saw the end result of the glasses at the beginning of the video but why not one more time because these came out beautifully thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe to the iSpecs youtube channel and as always have a joyful day